U.S. Marshals knock on doors in local neighborhoods in search of children who could be in danger. We made 45 physical recoveries. That's 45 children that are returned to a safer environment. Local 12 cameras give you an exclusive look inside the operation to rescue them. And now some local families have gotten the call they have been waiting for. It's rough because you don't know what you're going to wake up to. You don't know what the call is going to be. You don't know anything. About 60 children are missing right now in the greater Cincinnati area and about 520 statewide. They could be in danger. Genesis Nara shows us how a new task force is helping to recover these children. It is a story you will see only on Local 12. It's been a busy week for the U.S. Marshals out of Cincinnati. I rode along with them in the early morning hours, watching them work with local law enforcement agencies to find missing and endangered kids. This is all part of a new task force called Operation Autumn Hope. You see them quite often. Missing person pictures posted everywhere. Behind the pictures are parents, friends, family members, worried sick, wondering when they'll see their loved one again. Last time I saw Leander, it's been about a month. Andrea Mullins, 15-year-old daughter Leandra Thomas, is just one of the teens targeted in Operation Autumn Hope, a collaborative effort by more than 40 law enforcement agencies to address issues which fuel sex trafficking in Ohio. We're all kind of discovering that we're all out there and we're all looking to do the same, the same thing to find and locate these kids. I don't also want to call it like it's almost like a like a working group or almost like a like a like a new kind of family in a way. Nate Richardson is the head of Operation Autumn Hope here in Cincinnati. He and his partners are working to rescue these missing kids from potential danger. We're obviously looking for anyone that's going to be a possible victim of a, what I said earlier, like possibly a human trafficking, uh, maybe if they're with an affiliated a gang member, um, somebody that's maybe a sex offender or has a, has a history of violence. Uh, but that's not, you're always not going to get that. It's all part of a process, some days easier than others. It could be a successful day, like the first time only local 12 photojournalist Ed Burkholder captured the moment they found this 16-year-old girl in Bond Hill. She was missing for about seven months. I'm very confident we can pretty much find anybody. It's just whether the time frame, whether we find them in a week or we find them in a day or find them in a year, we, we will find them. It's, it's, there's no doubt about that. But the majority of the cases take time, effort, and a lot of research. We followed them in Middletown as they searched for Leandra Thomas. We made four stops following tips she might be at these addresses. We watched as the crews surrounded each house knocking on windows, front and side doors, the door. until someone answers. On the third stop, we ran into Leandra's mother, understandably emotional, hoping this time for a miracle. Leandra is used to being with all of us, and by her not reaching out to any of us, that's not like her. But she's continued to run away? Yes, she has. How many times? Um, at least five or six times. Repeat runners are at the highest risk. Those are the types of targets they're looking. They're looking for your broken toys who don't want to be home anymore. They, you know, they're, they're looking for something else. They're looking for some type of love that they, they don't feel they're getting at home. And that's going to make them more susceptible or more vulnerable for a sex trafficking ring or, or someone that's going to use them for those purposes. Since early October, marshals in Operation Autumn Hope have located 45 missing children in southern Ohio and West Virginia. They closed 82 cases. Eight of those kids were found here in Cincinnati. To date, none of the local children have been found to be involved in sex trafficking. Of those 45 cases, about 7% of the teens they've located are suspected of being trafficked by sex traffickers in cases which are still under investigation. The day after we recorded this piece, the U.S. Marshals found 15-year-old Leandra Thomas. The U.S. Marshals will continue working with local law enforcement agencies to locate the missing children on the list who are considered most in danger. According to the FBI, a child goes missing every 40 seconds in America. Reporting in Cincinnati, Jenna Cisneros, Local 12 News. Since 2005, U.S. Marshals have recovered more than 2,000 missing children. In the past five years, they have recovered missing children in 75% of the cases pursued.